What makes Mustang number one? Personality. Take the 1970 Mustang Mach 1, for instance. It's got recessed taillights, an optional 428 Cobra Jet V8 with a shaker, and a sporty new front end. But most of all, the 1970 Mustang's got personality. What makes Mustang number one? Personality. The 1970 Mustang hardtop, for example. It's got an economical six to move you, and that sporty look all around you. But most of all, Mustang's got... Personality. For 1970, number one, there's Mustang hardtop, Mach 1, and the elegant Grande. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Personality. Elegance for a new decade. The 1970 Thunderbird, completely redesigned to remain unique in all the world. A bold new front end. Solid state instrumentation. The 1970 Thunderbird. This year, buy more than a car. Go fly a bird. Tell me. One more time. Why we never win? Well, number one. Number one? There's Mustang. Mustang. Miss, do you have a car for me? Sir, why, we have 18 models to choose from. Uh, number one, there's Mustang. I'll take and it. Number, number one, there's Mustang. America's number one sporty car. Mach 1. Shaker up front. Spoiler in the back. 428 powerhouse in between. Mustang, number one for 1970. Racket, honey. What have you missed the most since you've been away? Well, number one, my Mustang. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Only the 1970 Ford Wagon gives you four seats. And when you line up Ford's four seats against the competition, you can see that there's more room. That's because only Ford, the Wagon Master, offers you dual-facing rear seats. Why take a wagon with three seats when you can get a Ford with four? When it comes to wagons, we're in a league by ourselves. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. You start off as a bride and end up as a chauffeur. The Wagon Wife and the 1970 Ford Country Squire. The perfect match. Only Ford, the Wagon Master, can make a wagon so welcome. For example, these exclusive dual-facing seats. Turn one down, you've got a desk. Turn both down, you've got a platform. And you can reach it without bending over a clumsy tailgate because of Ford's magic door gate. The only one that works three ways, even with a window up. And we've topped off the Country Squire with a handsome new vinyl roof and elegant styling to let you go out in style. So if you're a wagon wife, only Ford, number one in wagons, lets you be a wife and still feel like a bride. Ford, the Wagon Master. What Ford learned winning more races around the world than anyone else went into the aerodynamic shape of the 1970 Torino. The shape of its profile, longer, lower, the slope of the roof, the slant of the windshield. Developing Torino's new shape is one reason Ford's in racing. There is another, and it's the same reason I coach football. We both like to win. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. The 1970 Torino, winner of Motor Trend Magazine's Car of the Year competition. A team of the country's leading car experts drove 15 of the outstanding 1970 cars so they could vote for the Car of the Year. Each car was put through a grueling 500-mile competition. The decision? One line of cars outclassed all the others. Torino. The 1970 Torino Sports Group. The Car of the Year. The Torino four-door hardtop. 
It's the car of the year, too. The Torino two-door hardtop. It, too, is Motor Trend's car of the year. In fact, for the first time in open competition, an entire line of cars was voted car of the year, the 1970 Torinos. And now, during your Ford dealer's white sale, you can get extra savings on a special edition of Torino, your Ford dealer's lowest-priced hardtop, the 1970 Torinos, the value line. Five years in a row. Number one for five years in a row. One year, I can see one year. Or two years, five. That Mustang is really something. Is it the looks? Is it the handling? Is it the power? The top ten is tough enough. But number one for five years in a row. Unbelievable. Boy, you got everything. <laughs> wow. Hey, tell me. Uh -oh. Excuse me. <laughs> tell me, what, what gives you the uh, biggest kicks? Well, number one? Yeah, which one? <laughs> Mustang. Yeah. Number one, there's Mustang. Mustang Mach 1 for 1970. Shaker up front, spoiler in the back, and a 428 in between. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Change is in the wind. For 1970, we asked the wind to design a car. Torino, 1970. Wider, longer, lower. molded into a sweeping new aerodynamic shape. This year, go with the wind. Torino, 1970. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Torino, 1970. It's new, clear through, even to the ventilation system. Watch and you'll see why. Fresh air flows through the upper part of the car for the upper part of you. Fresh air flows through the bottom for the rest of you. Flow through ventilation, we call it. The 1970 Torino at your Ford dealers. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Ford and your local Ford dealer, who tonight for the first time present the 1970 Ford with a new kind of quiet. The all-new Torino, shaped by the wind. Mustang, America's number one sporty car, and the magnificent 1970 Thunderbird. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. <laughs> <laughs> 